What's up guys, this is Logic Strategies here, and today I've just got another quick information video. So basically, if you haven't already seen the Black Ops 3 multiplayer reveal trailer, you should definitely check that out because it was pretty awesome. But at the end of the actual trailer, we got a first in-game look at the images of the Black Ops 3 gunsmith in the paint shop for the gun editor. So the new images were actually teased at the end of the trailer only for a few seconds and the images just flashed up and you couldn't really get a, that good look at what it was but if you slow it down which I have done for you in the video you can definitely get a nice look at what's shown so if you look at the image on the screen we've got the gunsmith and it shows the weapon on the screen this is the bit where you actually have a look at what the weapon looks like with the attachments and adjust how it will look when you're running around with the gun in the game but obviously you can see that no paint job or camo is selected so once it does go into the paint job section you get to have a better look at the actual weapons. One of the images I've got on the screen was shown in the trailer. This camo actually looks pretty sick that they've actually made using the paint shop. With just a little skull and the splashes of red, orange and yellow. Another one just shows a pure red gun just to show that you can have it simple as well. In the top right there's actually a little options section. And it shows that we're looking at the left hand side of the gun. It also shows that there's a total of 64 layers that can actually be used, so that's quite a lot. The basic settings for the guns can be chosen from the controls. This basically is the same as the emblem creator from Black Ops 2 or something like that, and they've gone for a very similar layout for it. So it'll basically be the same, and I'm assuming the emblem creator will basically be the same as this as well. So obviously you can move your emblem that you've made, and you can scale it. You can then rotate, change the opacity and flip it. And you can obviously add an outline because it shows on the screen. You can change the layer order and obviously choose from a range of colours. There's actually an override section at the bottom which is the material picker. So I'm not sure if this is like how you change the material of the actual gun. Or if you can add already made camos just onto that. Or what that is. But it definitely looks like it will be pretty cool. Anyway, this paint shop feature will actually only be available in next gen consoles and the PC. In the multiplayer reveal trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Activision actually stated that the new weapon paint shop feature, which allows you to add custom made paints to your weapons, will not actually be available on the last gen consoles. This is obviously pretty good news for next gen players, because it is a pretty sick feature, and obviously being able to create your own camos and customise your own weapons is definitely a really good idea. So anyway, if you have enjoyed the video guys, make sure to leave a like, don't forget to leave a comment let me know what you think about this feature, and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this.